Tana, did you ever end up playing uh, Grand Blue? Can you guys see what I'm seeing here? Okay, perfect. So let's do this then. Oh, dude, this is awesome. All right, all right. So obviously you want to be a Mario Cam here, and you want to be like, uh, you want to be flat on this uh, little rail thing, whatever, whatever the fuck you call this. And then do you guys see? Oh, I can show you everything, dude. This is gonna make it super like seamless. All right, so check this out. Check this out. So there's obviously much faster ways to do it, but the way that I'm doing it is like as consistent as possible for me. So this is what I look for. Obviously, as you get better, you're going to want to like do shit faster. But do you see this right here? Do you guys see the mouse pointer? Just let me uh, confirm that you guys can see the mouse pointer too. You guys should be able to see it. Just let me know you see the mouse pointer and I'll, and I'll explain the rest. You can see. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm not going to stop anymore then. All right. So do you see how this leg is kind of poked out from this little stair edge? What you want to do is you want to like jam that all the way inside that edge. So you just keep like kind of just kind of fiddling with it until you're there. When you're there, that's prime position. That's where you want to be, at least as a beginner. And this is still what I do. Uh, I think like the top level runners, they don't care. They just go from there. But this is like a very consistent way of doing this. But then after that, see, you see how like the bottom of his foot wasn't in. All right. So we're in, right? So we'll save here. Now you see down. So now you're there. So now. This is where the checklist comes in, dude. So that's checklist number one. That, that's uh, bullet point number one. His leg is completely buried in there. C down is two. Now you have to hold directly forward to start pushing. It has to be like in the notch. If it's even a degree off. Notice that all these inputs now, if you're even a degree off, it's all over. And that's where the precision shit comes from. All right, so you go directly forward and then slightly upright. And then you have to find, so right now I'm slightly upright, but look how I'm moving. I still have a straight angle, but I'm moving to the right. So that's not correct. So you're supposed to be like pivoting uh, towards an upright angle. More like that. You see that? That's what you want. So you have to find like uh, where you hold, but that's what you want. You want to pivot towards an upright angle. If you're moving and you're still flat and you're just moving to the right, that's not right. You're already fucked. It's all over. Reset, bitch. All right. So there you go. And there. That's the angle that you want, right? Now, what I do is, I look at this, still using this as a reference. I try to like, uh, how do I explain this? I try to have just a minimal part of his left leg still buried in there. Because that gives you a lot of angle. And that makes it consistent to where you can hold left when you're doing your BLJs. So I'm still pushing. So remember that, remember that visual cue. So I'm still pushing, so it's like there, right? So like there's barely, like you could probably go a little bit deeper. You could probably push a little bit more upright, but then you're like, then you're at risk of doing that. And that's, that's shit. You need that left part of his leg or to be like somewhat still buried in there. But like, let me, let me see if I can get that, the angle that, like that dude. Like that's like a really like, uh, that's a really aggressive angle. And that's what's gonna make it like more consistent when you like get the BLJ to stick. So then, all right. Oh, fuck. I, no, no. No, no, we're good. We should still be good. All right, first of all, let me make sure it works. Oh, God. Okay, all right. So look, this is a good angle, all right? So now, like I said, after you've set up your angle and everything, it all comes down to... You can't jam down right because like chance, I mean, you probably can if you get better. I don't do it. You're going to want to slowly go into, uh, in, into down. Sorry, not down right. But slowly start moving down and then get, in, uh, slowly start moving down and then immediately into your notch. And just remember that if you're a degree off of fucking down notch, it's over. To the left, to the right, to the up, it doesn't matter. So slowly down and then jam down, right? And then your long jump. Your long jump, you got to do like, uh, you kind of have to do it late. If you do it too early, like you can, um, you kind of want to nestle Mario's ass in between, uh, this rail and the stairs and like kind of push into it. You want to land and then push into the left, uh, into the left direction that you hold. So you don't want to just land here and then hold left. It's not going to work. You have to like, uh, you have to nestle yourself in there. So it's important to do like the long jump kind of late. But you can't do it too late. You can't do it uh, semi-late. It's like a very specific kind of late. 
but you have to run a little bit and then you do that and then basically dude whenever you land uh it just depends on what frame and when you hold left you want to mash and uh, hold left at the same time at least that's what i tried and this might all be wrong but this this is what makes it like somewhat consistent for me so you want to mash and hold left at the same like when you're pressing uh, a for your first blj to get it to stick you have to be in left on like the same frame or something maybe you can do it a little bit earlier it just depends like you might uh you might decide to hold left first and then do like a really early frame or a late frame whatever works for i'm sure there's like different ways to do it this is just how i do it but uh yeah make sure you run enough because you kind of want to like jam yourself in there like you want to land and then get into the corner like that instead of just land in the corner because it's fucked if you do that but that's all there is to it dude just make sure you're holding down slowly move into down notch and then you're trying to land obviously when you long jump you're holding forward directly forward because remember you have to keep this same angle that initial upright angle you have to keep that angle so straight down straight forward and then left and make sure make sure you're doing all of that at the same time that when you have your first a press you're holding direct left and it's it's really good to use this setup because it's all notches right i already showed you like this visual cue right you want just a little bit of that pant leg to show to be uh jammed in the stair right so after that you have your angle your angle's good so from that point it's down notch up notch and then left notch and that's what makes it consistent this is my opinion this might be wrong but it works for me dude and i hope that helps somebody in the future or something but yeah that's about it dude i hope that was uh comprehensive enough if i missed anything if there's any more questions let me know now so I can get into that.